different fractions if you color this one this this represents 1 by 2 because there are only two parts here there are four parts each division uh, is 1 4 so 2 4 means here and here and both are same see here 1 by 2 2 by 4 both are same similarly 3 by 6 is also same 1 2 3 and here 1 2 3 4 4 by 8 also same 1 2 3 4 5 5 by 10 also same okay in another way you can multiply with both numerator and denominator with 2 you will get 2 by 4 with 3 you will get 3 by 6 with 4 4 you will get 4 by 8 with 5 you will get 5 by 10 so all these are equivalent fractions Yes, there are a lot of equivalent fractions of any fraction. For example, 1 by 3 is equivalent to 2 by 6, 3 by 9, 4 by 12, 5 by 15. Okay. For 2 by 3, it will be 4 by 6 multiplying with 3 on both numerator and denominator, 6 by 9, 8 by 12, 10 by 15 okay you can uh, frame another examples also of equivalent fractions see on the number line this is of this is one one third two third one one fourth two fourth three fourth one four by four is nothing but one one by five two by five three by five four by five Similarly, you can make up to one tenth division. Now, using these number lines, we can uh, find the missing numbers. 1 by 4 is equivalent to, see here, 1 by 4 is equivalent to 2 by 8. Okay. 4 by 10 is equivalent to 4 by 10. Uh, here it is 4 by 10 is equivalent to 2 by 5 okay 6 by 9 is equivalent to 2 by 3 6 by 8 is equivalent to 3 by 4 okay I already told you the other method Mul multiplying with the same number or dividing with the same number if you divide this fraction by 2 on both numerator and denominator you will get 3 by 4 like I said earlier 1 by 2 multiplying with 4 numerator and denominator with 2 you will get 2 by 4 with 3 you will get 3 by 6 with 4 you will get 4 by 8 okay now let's find out the missing numbers here uh, 2 into 6 is 12, 1 into 6 is 6. So this number must be 6. We need to multiply both numerator and denominator with the same number uh, to get the equivalent fraction. Okay. Here 5 into 2 is 10. So 6 into 2, 6. 2 is a 12. Here it will be 12. What about here? 3 into 4 is 12. So 4 into 4 is 16. 8 3 is a 24, 7 3 is a 21. This is the way to get uh, equivalent fractions. Make 5 equivalent fractions of 2 by 5 freely. Uh, 4 by 10, 6 by 15, 8 by 20, 10 by 25. Okay. Think about how to make equivalent fractions that are equivalent to 6 by 12 like 3 by 6, 2 by 4 and 1 by 2 you need to multiply or divide with the same number on both numerator and denominator 6 by 2 is 3 12 by 2 is 6 so both are equivalent here uh, 3 by 3 is 1 6 by 3 is 2 1 by 2 what, what about this 6 by 3 is 2 
12 by 3 is 4 okay so we can fill the blanks with the numbers okay in this way Six by six. Six by six is one. Twelve by six is two. Equivalent fractions can also be obtained by dividing numerator and denominator of the fraction by the same number as we discussed earlier. Find the missing numbers. Nine by three is three. Three by three is one. So the number is 1 here, 6 by 2 is 3, 8 by 2 is 4. Four by four is one, 12 by four is three. So it must be one by three. 20 by four is five, eight by four is two. Make three equivalent fractions of 12 by 18 by dividing numerator and uh, denominator of the fraction by the same number. You can follow the same procedure to get these three equivalent fractions. If fractions are equivalent, uh, the simpler one is easier. Dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number in order to make, make a fraction with a smaller denominator is called reducing a fraction. To reduce a fraction, we must divide both numerator and denominator by the by common factor by the same number or by a common factor. See in this uh, example, 3 is factor of 15 and factor of 18 also. So we can divide both numerator and denominator with 3. 15 by 3 is 5, 18 by 3 is 6. Okay. Similarly, here 2 is common factor for both numerator and denominator, so we can reduce the fraction by dividing both numerator and denominator with 2. 16 by 2 is 8, 20 by 2 is 10. Okay. Again, again, 2 is common factor for both 8 and 10, so 8 by 2 is 4, 10 by 2 is 5. Or otherwise, we can divide this uh, this this fraction with four. Sixteen by four is four. Twenty by four is five. In that way, also we will get four by five. And there are no common factors uh, here, so this is the simple simplest fraction. We cannot for re reduce it further. Okay. Dividing by two and then dividing by two, same as dividing by four as we discussed earlier and 4 is the highest common factor of 16 and 20 when reducing fractions we typically make the denominator as small as possible and get the lowest term of the fraction we can easily get the lowest term by dividing by, by the HCF highest common factor of the denominator and the numerator uh, in this, in, here uh, we need to reduce the fraction to its lowest term. How to get it? By dividing both numerator and denominator with the highest common factor. For first it is 2. So by dividing with 2 on both numerator and denominator you will get 2 by 5. Here it is 2 by 5. What about this? 3 is the highest common factor. It will be 4 by 5. Last one, 40 history. 20 is the highest common factor. It will be 2 by 3. 22 is a 40, 23 is a 60. Okay. That's it, guys. We will meet in the next chapter with the exercise. Sorry, we will meet in the next session with the exercise